Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Bluehost's domain to Shopify in 2023. Of course, Bluehost is a popular domain registrar and integrating it with Shopify can provide a seamless experience for your online store. So, in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to get started with this integration. So, make sure to stick by Let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will have to go and log in into your Bluehost account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type blue hosts.com and hit the enter button this will take you directly to the blue host website of course if you're new and if you don't have an account you can simply scroll down read more information about blue host and familiarize yourself with this blue host uh, so you have like a better understanding about this and there's here as you can see the frequently asked questions if you have one of those questions i uh, will just scroll down into that you can pause the video and check it all about your own and if you're interested about the pricing that's come that is the pricing with the features that comes with it and even this for one year and this is for three years so depending on whatever you want so of course if you don't have an account you'll have to go to one uh, to the price and select one of their plans once you select this of course you will have to click on start now and you will be able to create an account but if you don't have a, if you do have an account you'll simply have to go to the top right corner as you can see here and click on this login option once you click on it as you can see you will have to go and enter your credentials you can even log in with your google account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in into your account of course they log me instantly because i've just logged in like one day before so they didn't ask me to do that if i lost like the cookies of my logging in into this website they may ask me to do that again but it's no problem because as i said i log in with google so i don't have to do all the boring steps of logging in into my account so once you're logged in into your account make sure to simply go and access your domains and of course, this is will your manage all your registered domain. As you can see, I have this domain name. For you, of course, make sure to find the domain that you want to connect to your Shopify store and click on it to access its settings. As an example, for me, I have just one. For you, if you have more than one, just go and select that one and simply go and click on manage. And this one, manage will get you right away into the settings of those domains or this domain now of course in the domain settings make sure to look for name servers name servers as you can see we will not find them here so go to dns and of course here you will find those name servers so in this name servers of course by default uh, the bluehost name servers will be used uh, will be in use of course so change them to shopify name servers which are typically ns1.myshopify.com and ns1 uh, dot my shopify uh, or sorry ns2 dot uh, my shopify dot com instead of this ns1 bluehost dot com and bluehost dot com so basically instead of this bluehost you'll have to do shopify my shopify and this my and instead of this my bluehost you'll have to do my shopify as you can see click on edit and instead of blue bluehost click on custom and as you can see click on confirm changes and then you will have to go and change that for me at the moment i will not but for you, make sure to do that and save the changes. After updating the name server, save the changes. And this process may take uh, or might take like a little while to uh, propagate across the internet. So you will have to wait. After you've done this, you'll have now to go and log in into your Shopify account. To do so again, go just go and open a new tab and simply go to the URL section again and simply type Shopify, Shopify.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, of course, you'll be taken again to their home screen or main screen. If you don't know much about it, scroll down, read more information about it to familiarize yourself with the website. And if you have an account, of course, you can simply go and click on login at the top right corner. But if you don't click on start a free trial, once you click on it, they will uh, actually take you to uh, to choose one of their pricing here, as you can see. So you can pause the video, check it all by your own, the pricing for monthly and yearly. So for me, I'll just click on login to log in my account at the top right corner. And of course, I'll choose my account here, and this will log me right away into my store or will take me right away into my admin dashboard of Shopify. 
of course here what they all need to do is simply on my shopify i will need to access my shopify admin and of course by logging in you will basically just access your shopify admin right away here in your shopify dashboard make sure to go to your online store you will find this here at the left panel so click on that click on online store section and then make sure of course to uh, let's just wait for the page until it loads so we'll have to wait i don't know why it's taking too much time so let's just wait for it it should not take like a lot of time as an example so i guess once this finished okay it's not let's just refresh the page and maybe they have a problem with this with their service at the moment so as you can see the page is loaded so now what we'll need to do is simply as you can see we are on the themes page that's not what we want so go to the preferences here and as you can see here you will be able to change a lot of things on your websites of course just keep in mind that if you don't have a plan on like shopify if you're just using the free trial as i am doing you'll not be able to publish your store or even finish this integration so make sure to have a, a, a plan so you can do that so you can remove, of course, the password and publish your store. So basically, here in preferences, you'll be able to remove the password protection, as I said, if you have one of your plans. Once you remove it, of course, make sure to go to the left panel again and click on settings. Once you do so, go again here to this panel and click on domains. You'll find it right here. So click on it. And as you can see here, connect or buy a custom domain below and get a $20 subscription credit on your next bill. So you can buy or connect a domain. For us, we don't have to buy because we already have one. So simply go and click on connect an existing domain. As an example, of course, make sure to enter that domain here as an example. And I'll simply go and that is going to be my domain. So basically have to go and do it here and click on next. Once I do next, simply you'll have to go and follow this settings instructions to verify this connection or to connect that. So click on it. And of course, you, once you finish it, you'll have to click on verify this. So basically, you'll have to finish all those stuffs that they are telling you here. And if you have any problem, you can always ask this AI tool that is provided for you for helping you. So basically, you'll have to connect your domain to Shopify, prefer your domain for transfer, transfer your domain to Shopify, and manage your data, uh, use constant preferences. And once you finish, go and click on verify connections and everything will be good and you will be or you will simply integrate it or connect your bluehost domain into the shopify and that's going to be it so if you're at this point of this video of course your connection will be verified and you can set your new domain as the primary domain for your shopify store so congratulations of course you've successfully connected your uh, domain from bluehost to shopify store in 2023 so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and thanks for watching and goodbye